So, Stephanie, welcome to the podcast. I am so excited to have you. I am so excited to be here. Um, so Stephanie is a mindset expert and success coach specializing in helping women shift into the version of themselves who already has it all. The success, mm -hmm. the income, the confidence, the thriving business of their dreams. Um, she has an incredible online community called Spiritual Boss Babes, which is how I originally found her. Mm -hmm. And I was like following her for a while. And then we connected and she did an interview with me a few months back on, back on her her wildly popular podcast, which you can check out. And it was a blast. It was so and fun. It was super fun. We got deep. It was like, it was serious. It was <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm super open to any advice, advice you've ever got about, about podcasting. So hit me up if you ever have any advice for me, because I know that you are killing it. <laughs> I just started it and spreading the word like wildfire. It's kind of like how I did with my group, which I'm sure we'll dive into a little bit of. Yeah, for sure. No, your group is amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for being here. And thanks all y'all for listening in. I am thrilled that you're um, checking out the Conscious Conversion podcast. Yes. And um, it's brand new. It's my new baby. And I'm grateful to have you as a first expert I'm honored. Badass babe. I am so honored to be one of your first guests. Ah, oh, I feel so special. <laughs> so, okay, let's dive into the questions. Okay. What kind of impact do you want to make in the world over the next five years? It's so funny because I never usually think that far ahead. <laughs> you can tell me a year, two, but three. But no, like I do have a really big vision. It's just like I feel like as I expand, so does my purpose and my message. And so it doesn't always, I know that it's not going to look exactly how I may say it today, but I definitely have a really big vision to be, um, to be serving a lot more people on a larger scale. So for me, that looks like finally writing and publishing my books, doing more live events and retreats and collaborating with more visionary leaders to continue creating this ripple effect in the world to raise the vibration and raise the consciousness of the people on the planet. And so I'm not totally sure exactly how it all looks right now, but what I'm focusing on in the next year is, and I'm just going to say this to hold myself accountable, but is to finally finish and publish my first book. That is like one of my intentions and I keep saying it and not like making it a priority, but it's in me and it like really wants to come out. And I feel that that's going to happen this Girl, year. Girl, I want your book. <laughs> Do you, will you share what it's going to be called or are you, is that? Um, I'm not, I'm like nervous to share what it's going to be called because I don't know. I just don't want, not that, yeah, I, no, not that anyone's going to take the name, but. Um, no, I totally get it. I totally get it. We'll just have to all be on the lookout. Yeah. But basically it's going to be more of like the first book is going to be more like of a workbook style and it's going to be kind of like a 21 day journey of raising your vibration and mastering quantum manifestation. And so every day there's going to be like a story, a lesson and an actionable takeaway to add into your daily routine or to add into your practice or to reflect on or to think about to help you raise your vibration, to help you step into the truth of who you are, which is your highest self. And when you step into the truth of who you are, that's when you literally become magnetic to everything that you want in life. And so mm. it's going to be kind of like a journey on, on helping people do that. So it's going to be kind of like a workbook style with stories in it as well. Super practical. Yeah. I'm Practical really manifestation. I feel magic. like I gave such a great description of it. I'm like, damn, I really I need to get on a work of this now. Like, yeah, no, work. you really do. Like you're speaking it into, into reality right now. Yes, and, um, and I'm stepping maybe, into the quantum me, the, the best-selling author me as we speak. <laughs> yes, exactly. I see it already. <laughs> um, so what kind of people do you feel like resonate with you the most? Well, um, there's, there's a, it's funny. I feel like there's a lot of different people that resonate with me and they're in different places. It's, I will share what I see. <laughs> there's mainly p spiritual entrepreneurs, people who have a really, who feel like they have a burning mission and a burning desire to not, not, not only make a massive impact in the world, but live their best lives. 
So anyone who has, who just feels this burning thing within the core of their being that they need to express their message or they need to share their gifts and they, they crave to just continue to live their best life and to really step into who they are even more. And so there's different like levels to that. And I don't mean levels as like something's better, whatever than the next. It's just not hierarchical. No, but it's like where you are in your journey. And so I say like, there's the spark and that's like, so if you're in the spark phase, that's when you are, you know, you, you, you're just kind of like starting your awakening or personal development journey. And you, you have this, this idea in you that you want to share something, you want to create something of your own and you're diving into the mindset work and stuff, but you're not quite sure exactly what it all looks like. You're kind of like just really getting into it. Then there's the flame stage and the flame is when is the person who is already sharing their message. They're doing the things they're, you know, uh, putting themselves out there, starting to make some money from their soul's work, but they still think they still know there's way more and they're just kind of like getting the ball rolling and bringing things to life. And then the fire is the third stage. I didn't expect to go into this, but I'm just explaining like where people are. The fire is like, you're already living your purpose. You're on purpose. You are your purpose. You speak, live, talk, breathe your purpose. You are fully financially supported from your purpose. You are on fucking fire. You're unstoppable. You just won't shut up about your message because you are the messenger. You are the oracle and you already know that and you're owning it. And that's the fire. And I think a lot of people want to get to that fire stage. They want to have the book, the events, the, the, the booming business, doing what they love. They want to be on fucking fire and like just create this like, well, I'm, I'm, the people that want to like that are in my realm, they want to make this ma- massive impact um, with their work. And so, yeah. Mm, so you help people move from spark to fire. Yes. Yes. Basically. So that's, you know, what I, or anywhere when I think, yeah, when I think of like my offers and my stuff that I, yeah, I have things for the spark people. I have things for the, the flame people and, and like something like the mastermind or one-on-one would be like for the fire people who need that support, who need that high level, like, yo, let's go to the next level. What does that look like? Kind of let's thing. go to Peru and do some plant medicine. Yeah. So that would be the fire <laughs> people. Yeah. <laughs> and look, there's no, like this is, again, this isn't like a hierarchy kind of thing. It's just like where you are in your process of your journey, you know? Yeah, Are you totally. just diving into it or have you been doing it for a minute and you're like all in or you can go from spark to fire real quickly too. It doesn't, yeah. like time is irrelevant. It's just, you know? Yeah. Awesome. And, and, and I, I think it. like you need to build the confidence to be able to do that. Like I, I know a lot of people, there are some people that really struggle with sharing their message. They really are you know, nervous. And I, yeah, was I talk about that, like, and especially as I got into, I used to do coaching and before I got into digital marketing and the, the pr- self promotion that comes with like these existential crises that you have to push through. And I feel like that's one of those steps from spark to flame is you've got to be able to push through that, that, um, self-consciousness. Mm-hmm. And that yeah. is like why the inner work is so important. Like I, I even tell people, I have moments where I doubt myself. I have moments when I feel fear and like dance having, it out. yeah, yeah, have tools <laughs> you can go to. Yeah. Dance it out. I literally just did that this morning. Danced, did a hip hop class. It was super fun. <laughs> well, speaking of which, what kind of rituals and routines help you show up in the world aligned and ready to serve your peeps? So first off, I by any, by no means am perfect. So like I'm a human, I don't have everything all figured out. I'm not like, what? I'm not like all up on my morning routine every fucking day. Like, Oh, I got it all together. Sometimes I'm a hot mess. Um, however, like my routines definitely help me. And I know when I'm not like, like honoring it, like I could feel it. And yeah. so for me, like the main thing is moving my body. So whether yep. it's working out, mainly I like dancing, but I don't like do dancing for my workout normally. I definitely have to go to the gym and run and lift weights and like just really like move the energy. But I love dancing and putting on pump up songs. It raises my vibration. It helps me move the energy and get and just get in touch with my body. Yeah. Um, and then I, I like to do uh, cacao ceremonies oh, by yeah. myself. Mm-hmm. I don't do it every mm-hmm. single day, but a few times a week I'll do that. 
I'll have um, to talk later offline about where you source your cacao because I yeah, love. I get it from Guatemala. I'll send you. I'll, mm. I actually, I have a special link for maybe you can share that too if people want to. <laughs> we'll cacao. put that in the show notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, just in case people are wondering about it. But um, yeah, so my morning routine is like pretty simple. I journal. I reflect on what I'm grateful for. I pull a card. I love the wisdom of the Oracle deck. It's my freaking favorite card deck ever um, right now. <laughs> And yeah, then I move my body, I go to the gym, dance, and kind of make put myself first in the beginning of the day. And I have to remind myself of that because there are times when I want to open my laptop and get this thing done or write this post or do this thing. And if I don't put myself first before I do that, then I'll get it was so immersed in like my work and my creating because I, I love it too. But then it's like if then like so many time so much time goes by and like I didn't do my thing and then it's three in the afternoon and I still didn't work out and then I'm grumpy because I like to do it in the morning. So I have to keep myself in check. Like, no, this. You gotta get up early. <laughs> get up early, put myself first, don't rush, then get to the work, quote unquote work. Right. And what you're doing is totally working. Your organic reach is, I mean, you've done pretty much everything you, you've accomplished organically and it's constantly growing. How do you stay mm -hmm. consistent? It's, that's so funny that you asked that, you know, I asked one of my closest girlfriends, I was like, you know, what is like one thing that you see in me that like, you know, you see as a, a strength of mine, one of my close girlfriends that has helped me with a lot of stuff. I just was like curious. And she said, your consistency is so inspiring. Every time I see you go on live, I'm like, okay, I got to go on live. And I never realized that I, that that was like, I guess a big, strength of mine until it was brought to my attention so like for you to ask that question kind of like reiterates that for me so thank you um <laughs> but i think it's just like building a habit just like working out at the gym like i my i started my journey with losing weight like with my health and fitness journey I, I started my personal and spiritual growth journey through health and fitness and so i got really 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 in a routine of um, making a habit out of my workouts and the way I eat and all this stuff. And I think that like my consistency ironically was born from like that. And so when it came to growing my business, it was like kind of those same kind of habits of like consistency and just making a habit out of it. And so when I first started showing up online, it was just like a pull that I had to share stuff, you know, and I yeah. just made a habit out of it. I remember when I first started showing up, literally all I would post were quotes or things that stood out to me in like books I was reading. And I just made it every single morning. I'm going to post something to inspire someone. And then I just got in the habit of that every day of like just posting something to inspire people. It was before I had my business. Speaking in your own voice. Then I started. Yeah. And then I started and going now, on the, now people are quoting you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of funny. Um, sometimes that happens and I'm like, Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> but I, when I went, when I first started going on live, when I started my group, I was like, okay, if I'm going to start a group, I have to be consistent. And what that looks like for me is like giving a lot of value and it changed. You know, there've been times when I didn't go on as live, live as much. And then I picked it up again, like now, but I started getting in the habit of going on live, whether that's twice a week, whether that's once a week, whether that's every fucking day at times, yeah. you know, um, just talking about whatever I felt like talking about. I think that's one of your secret weapons. It's one of the things I, I, I don't go live very often at all. Um, but it's one thing that I advise clients on all the time is like oh, yeah. the more you're willing, especially if you're charismatic, you know, mm -hmm. if you're charismatic, going live as much as humanly possible is going to serve you extremely well. Oh my God, it does. That's the fastest way to grow your audience. Yeah. And it's the fastest way for people to trust you. Also, mm -hmm. I was so not charismatic in my first lives. Like I see them pop up sometimes and I laugh because my voice, I was like, Hey guys. So today, um, so I'm going to talk about <laughs> um like how to shift your energy and and now it's like so different <laughs> yeah but everyone has their day one and so like I had to get through that uncomfortableness I had to get through that awkward feeling of like shit like what if I forget what I'm gonna say I had to get through that awkward feeling of saying um every other word and but the only way I got past that is to, is to keep doing it do it that's the thing yeah you got to push through and I got I got started getting mindful of instead of saying um pause Mm. And I got comfortable with pausing. And sometimes I pause for a hot minute 
while I'm trying to gather, <laughs> you know, not because I'm like stuck. It's just like sometimes I got to gather the next thought that's well, coming through. I mean, if you're really doing your thing and if you're really aligned, then what you're doing is channeling, right? So oh, yeah, yeah. I definitely sometimes say you've got to you've got to get quiet so that spirit can move through you so that source mm -hmm. can move through you. And that goes for Facebook lives too, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's is, fun. Yeah, for sure. So we were talking a little bit before we started recording about you um, bringing in help and how do you stay authentic as you grow, reach more people and bring in help? What do you mean? Like bringing in help, like growing like, a team? Yeah. As you grow your team and you're, I mean, like I'm doing, I just finally got somebody to help me manage my social media because it was oh, so yeah. hard for me to stay consistent there with everything else I'm doing with client work, with starting a podcast, mm -hmm. all of this. So I, it's really important to me that I still am authentic, that my work is authentic, that my, you know, when, as I hire ad strategists mm -hmm. who are brilliant by the way, but I want to make sure that what they are doing is still authentic to yeah. the, vision, the vision that I started with. Um, how do you stay authentic as you delegate more? And I think it's so interesting because at first I was a big fear of mine. Like, how can I delegate this stuff? Like, I'm the only one that can do this. And it's so funny because there are some things, like when it comes to the design of things, like, yeah, I just feel like no one can do it the way that I want it to look. But yeah, because it's like, that's like the artist in me. But when it comes to like my content and like the, I make all my content, you know, um, I, I set the intention to like build the spiritual boss babe dream team earlier this year. And I, I gradually did build that. And right now I have like two assistants and then the sales and marketing team. Um, but I, it was a learning process at first. It was like, okay, like let's try this. Let's, uh, start doing this with my social media and um it's all my own stuff still like uh we get content from my videos mostly yeah totally so either That's I'll, the best way to do it so either i'll write posts and i'll like kind of just save them or whatever or, um, or we repurpose some stuff or like my assistants literally they go through my videos and they will write exactly what i say in the video <laughs> and like I'm giving yeah, me because ninja, some ninja people watch here. No, it's I mean it's, you're totally right. That's I think yeah. that's what the people who are are consistently posting end mm -hmm. up doing is is repurposing content because it's so important because some people um, consume video and some people mm -hmm. read and some people are drawn to images and yeah. you want to be able to catch yeah all the exactly sort of types of person like I'm not going to sit down and watch a lot of video but I'll listen mm -hmm. to a podcast because I can do yes. that while I multitask <laughs> yeah and I love podcasts too so some of my lives I'll put into podcasts not all of them the quality is not as good but. Like even for my quotes on Instagram, there I have these like little pink quotes. We get those from my videos, the things I say in the videos. Love it. Yeah, or like certain things I'll say in a post. But I still like I still write and post like on on uh, in the present time as well. It's kind of like we have that going in the background, but then I also create as I create. But like I still it still feels very authentic. My um, the 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 people that I just brought on for like the sales and marketing kind of side of it is like and the copywriting like for sales pages and stuff like that they literally it's my it's me they they get my story they get my voice they it's like I'll share my stories or I'll share certain things and all of that and they put it into this context that sounds even more fucking awesome then I could probably do it. Totally. I mean, I think that's when you have the right team around is that when they are doing things better than you, even like almost like more authentic than you could have done for yourself. <laughs> yeah. Like, 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 Damn, this is inspiring me to share things in an even different way. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Tell me about your business right now. How are you reaching people organically and like what's working for you? So um, it's so funny because like my group, when it started growing, like it was like a thousand people a week. Like it was, I was like, I don't know how it's growing. It's just growing, man. And sometimes I feel like that, that is how my Instagram, my podcast, like to be honest with you, I feel like it's a combination of things. And maybe it's like something that I'm not even consciously aware of me doing that creates it. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, but 
I have a, a program where I teach around how to grow your Facebook group, but in, in, in that I share like the energy and the strategy of it. Number one, I think that have the name of whatever you call your group or your thing, it really fucking matters. Like I like to speak to the identity of the person or a common goal. So, well, that's what I would think of. And that's what I recommend. So like spiritual boss babes, obviously they're, they know that if, if that's them, they're going to join it. And like that really speaks to them. Oh shit. Like I'm a spiritual boss, babe. I'll join. How many people you got in there these days? There's like 31,000. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. No ads for growing that at all. No ads to build and it happened 31,000 members in, of your Facebook group. That's yeah, so beautiful. So in, y'all, in like a if year you and need a, half. a course <laughs> on how to grow a Facebook group organically, you should probably look at Stephanie's offerings. Uh, yeah, it's really, it, <laughs> it was, it was a lot of consistency. I mean, I tell everyone consistency. And so, um, I did a lot of challenges. I did a lot of live videos. I did a lot of, you know, uh, invite your friends and um, on other people's podcasts collaborating. But then it just kind of started, Facebook started just recommending my group. And even I, I have another group that I recently started. I'm, I'm still kind of playing around what I want to do with that uh, community. But that, you know, like uh, it's almost at like a couple thousand in a few months, but, and I haven't even promoted it really. Like I promoted it a little bit in the beginning, but um so I would say live videos consistently showing up. You can't just show up like once a week. You've got to be consistent. Um, just talking about your group like it's the hottest shit on the, on the fucking planet. <laughs> because it is. Yeah, like I feel like I started talking about my group, like how amazing it was. Not because it's my group, but because of the amazing people in it. people in it. Yeah, 31,000 spiritual boss babes. Yeah, but I was talking to them just like there was 30,000 in there when there was 1,000. Yeah. And I was so funny. Like I literally made this training on how to grow your tribe before, when I had like a thousand or 2000 people. And right, right after I made that training to grow your tribe, that's when it started growing a lot, even more. Talk about, talk about the algorithm of abundance, right? Like that's, uh, yeah. There it is. Like that's manifestation right there. It's like act as if, live as if. Yeah. I was like, okay, I got a couple thousand people in here. I can still teach people how to grow their, their audience. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm doing it. And then it just started blowing up. And my podcast, we just hit a hundred thousand. We're like at a hundred thirty thousand downloads now, which is so exciting. And the podcast, I had no clue how to do podcasting, and I just literally threw myself in it. And I kind of learning learning as I go. But I think that it's just like the the name, the hype around it, the get the kind of guests that I have on the show. Um, the keywords and stuff like that. And just like talking about your, the stuff that you're doing, like you're so excited and it's the hottest shit on the freaking planet. And like, you know, all the cool people are all down with it. So you may as well be too. <laughs> Not in like a cocky way, but like, it's kind of like a community. Like you're part of something when people feel like they, when people want to feel like they're part of something. When they feel like yeah. they're part of something, like it just, it's inspiring. And we want to be, especially in like, um, today and maybe this has always been the case but it feels like with the way the politics are with the way the world is with the way the states um, are it feels really really important to be a part of a movement um, mm -hmm. to be a part of a community and a part of a movement that's doing something to help the planet and um, I feel like you surround yourself with those kinds of people and that's really that's beautiful yeah, yeah. so how do you stay in alignment with your customers and how do you make sure that the things you're offering them um, resonate well, um, it's like a really good question. I, well, we just did a whole, <laughs> surveyed the whole audience not that long ago and got lots of really powerful uh, feedback. But I feel like, like I said, there's people that, that need different levels of support for the similar things. Mm -hmm. And so... Mm -hmm. For me, when I create my offers, it has to be a combination, obviously, of, well, what does my soul want to create and share, and what do they need, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, where do those things overlap? Yeah, and so I know everyone in my group, like, there, well, most people in my group, they want to either grow their business and start learning how to manifest better, or they want to, like take their business to the next level and start making next level income along with their impact. Um, I also know that 
I have a desire to go deeper with the energy frequency, um, really mystical side of things. And there are certain collective group of people that are like, yeah, girl, that's what I'm talking about. I want the yeah, quantum I mean, stuff. I definitely want to come with you on one of your retreats or, or pilgrimages or whatever you call yeah, it. Yeah. I'm going to do a Guatemala retreat in 2020 yeah. probably. Yeah. yeah. The Guatemala, the Guatemala vortex retreat. Like, yeah. I'm already naming it. I didn't know that it sounds yet. incredible. <laughs> I've been using the word vortex a lot lately because as my, many of my listeners know, I live in Costa Rica and I live right on the water between the mountains and the beat and the, and the ocean and in the jungle and the rainforest where there's torrential downpours. And I swear it is a freaking vortex here. That's it awesome. is so powerful. It's, it's awesome, but you have to be super careful about your thoughts and what you like, you will manifest. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's wild. Um, wow. So what's the next level and how do you plan to reach and impact more people? Um, well, like I said, I think the book is going to be a really big deal because the, my book is going to reach a lot, like a lot more people that are just being introduced to me. And it'll give be like a great introduction to everything else that I offer. And I know that it's going to reach the sparks, flames, and fires, <laughs> the book. Um, but aside from that, I, I, I want to continue serving people who are already out there making a big impact and doing their thing because then it's like the, an even bigger ripple effect. The ripple you know, effect. like yeah, if exactly. I can hold space for them to come together, if I can help them rise into their next level, then imagine the impact that they're going to make now. And so I like working with group. I mean, I, I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, just not, not that much or not that many people at a time, but I pre definitely prefer groups. So higher, higher level, like mastermind containers doing the deep expansive work where it's not, it's, it's like the blend of energy and strategy, but it's mostly energy, honestly, like expanding your consciousness and becoming magnetic to your next level is where it's at, like the quantum way to manifest the quantum way. Right. To because the strategy falls in your lap. Oh, it does. It's Once, totally like, it's just like, Oh, you like, here's the person you need to hire. You needed to hire exactly. are on a silver platter. It, oh, here's the podcast interview you needed to have handed mm -hmm. over on a silver platter. Here's yeah. the home you needed to live in. I mean, seriously, it's that, it's that magical. It does get to that point, but we've yeah. got to step into that first. And so that's exactly. what I'm really big on teaching. That's, that's everything that I teach, but in these higher level containers, I want to expand on that and, and just like create, have these amazing containers of, fucking powerhouse women coming together and, and supporting each other too. So it's, it's not just me that's like facilitating, but it's like a collective uh, group. Um, and then also obviously lead them on plant medicine trips in Guatemala <laughs> and stuff. Hell yeah. I am so there. Awesome. I can't wait. No, my God, um, it's going to be amazing. So um, I know I'm so close. It's like a little puddle jumper, you know, here. <laughs> Um, so how can people find you? We know about the Facebook group, Spiritual Boss Babes. You yes. can find it, you can easily find, find Stephanie there. My cat is stepping on. <laughs> My cat um, does that too. <laughs> um, so we can find you there. Um, how else can people find you? Instagram? Yes. Instagram. I'm, I'm at the Spiritual Boss Babe on Instagram. Okay. Um, my podcast, I got my podcast, but pretty much they could, you can find anything on spiritualbossbabe.com. You can find like all the things on there, the podcast, my group, my programs, at, like f awesome free stuff on there too. So everything's really in one place and easy to find. So you can check out spiritualbossbabe.com. Yeah. Um, and, and you're Stephanie um, Bellinger on Facebook, right? Yes. Not spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. But if you so. type spiritual boss babe, I, I probably will come up. Yeah. But Stephanie Bellinger, yeah. Yeah. That's my actual name. <laughs> I don't think I used it the whole time because you're spiritual boss babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like your identity. It's amazing. I know. It's that. so funny. <laughs> um, so how, this is the final question. This is the, the biggie that I know uh -oh. that all of the Conscious Conversion podcast listeners are, are like needing to know and understand how do you maintain your focus and alignment so that you're not spreading yourself too thin and missing what matters the most to you, like your own spirituality, your own mm -hmm. self care, your own personal growth. Like how do you maintain the focus on that as, as your business grows? Um, 
Well, it's a practice just like anything. And so uh, you, I just, if I'm feeling drained or if I'm feeling like not myself or not motivated or whatever, like I know I need to give myself something that I'm not giving myself. And so how do I maintain focus? It's just, I have certain things that I know, like just are non-negotiables that I make, like my workouts, like my, you know, just the, the way that I go about my day. And like I said, I'm not perfect before, but um, I know that if I'm not in alignment and if I don't make my vibration, my number one priority, then I'm not going to be able to reach as many people or that, uh, that I'm not like, everything's a reflection, you know, everything like, like exactly. it goes into the other things. So if I'm not making my focus, my flow, my vibration, my number one priority, then other things can kind of suffer a little bit. Maybe, you know, I'm not going to reach the right people. Maybe it's just, it's going to reflect in my business, my income, the way that I show up, the way that I feel everything. It's like alignment is so important. And so think about like for tangible things for, for those listening, like think about something you can do every day that you can commit to yourself to doing that will help you feel grateful, that will help you feel more at ease, that will help you feel more excited. And so maybe this is getting out in nature, maybe this is, you know, doing like a 10 minute meditation or saying a mantra for, you know, during your meditation, maybe this is putting a couple songs on and dancing to it. But it's so important to do those things that have nothing to do with your business so that yeah. when you're in your business or when you're working on your business or whatever it is, you're in this space of like creativity or just feeling more like you're already taking care of yourself. You're filling yourself up. And so you have more to give and share with the world. Totally. And I feel like there are two, two points to make within that. One is no matter how busy you feel, because I suffer from this, where I'm like, I'm too busy to get up in the, to, to do my morning ritual. I'm too busy to do these things, but you have to do those things in order to be less busy. It's crazy, <laughs> yeah. but it's true. It creates the space. And then um, what was my, my other piece? Oh, and then the other piece is what we talked about before, which is the, the delegation. Like mm -hmm. the more you can find those people who are in alignment to delegate to, yeah. so that you can create the space for the personal growth, because then the personal growth will then feed into the business growing. And so it's this beautiful loop. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I don't know how the hell I did it all before. <laughs> Cause I still feel like I'm, you, I still feel like I do a lot now, but like I have so much help. You have more help. Yeah. You were in alignment, you know, you were, you were channeling, you were in alignment. And I think things, even, even though it's hard and you're working hard, things fall into place and happen when you're in yeah. alignment. Yeah. And I totally called in like the perfect people to help. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Well, is there um, anything that you're launching or anything that's coming up um, in, let's see, uh, late December, January, early 2020 that you. Yes. There's a tried. lot of things. So I was telling you about my, my bundle, my up level bundle that's coming out. So I have a few really awesome bundles of like trainings and mini courses coming out between December and February. Um, so they can be found on my site or at spiritualbossbib.com slash up level is coming out soon. Um, a lot of different trainings around growing your business around NLP techniques to shift your subconscious mind to actually set goals the right way. Neurolinguistic neuro linguistic programming. programming. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so those bundles are coming out soon, which are going to be filled with so much epic shit. And then my mastermind is launching in January. High level mastermind. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be epic. Yeah. I'm super so excited. Everybody, yeah. check out Stephanie Bellinger, spiritual boss babe, mm -hmm. kick-ass entrepreneur. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This was awesome. We'll do it again sometime. Yeah. <laughs>